Meg's not qualified. Meghan's podcast pathetically flopped as met with backfire from feminists. Meghan Markle's new Archetypes podcast with Spotify has apparently been questioned by an unnamed prominent feminist, according to claims by royal expert Neil Sean. Meghan Markle is expected to face backlash from an individual from an unexpected group for her Spotify podcast, a royal commentator has claimed. Royal expert Neil Sean believes the Duchess of Sussex should tread carefully as she faces trouble from a prominent feminist after she unveiled her first Spotify series that will investigate labels that try to hold women back. Mr. Sean said Meghan's bid to explore feminism in her Archetypes podcast had backfired and claimed, a lot of female lead writers here in the UK are already saying we don't need any more whiny podcasts. He claimed the prominent feminist has questioned how Meghan can be a front for the feminist movement when she gave up her career, her religion, her family, her country to marry a man, the Express reports. Mr Neil told his YouTube channel, it's the feminist movement she is trying to attract herself to and that's really sort of backfired and you're going to see more of this in the next few days. Because a rather prominent feminist is coming out against Meghan Markle herself and here's the reasons why. He added, she is basically saying here is a woman who gave up her career, her religion, her family, her country, to come and live in another country all for the marriage and love of another man. How is that radically feminist? How are you basically being your own woman? Now you can see this particular version of events point of view can't you? It's not very easy to digest when you're saying well you've got to stand up for yourself don't be the underdog. We know it's not easy being the underdog, but when you think about it how quick did Meghan give in to being the underdog into giving literally everything away to become part of a family that she said she knew nothing about in order, of course, to make sure that she married the man that she loved. What's interesting here is depending on whether the podcasts are engaging and of course enlightening and as ever, the guests Meghan gets, I can see nothing but once again trouble against her because a lot of the female leader writers here in the UK are already saying we don't need any more whiny podcasts from women basically saying they're the underdog when women now more than ever have a bigger say and are more powerful. There are more women CEOs in the world than ever before. So Meghan as ever is going to have to tread very carefully if she wishes to get the right track for that all-important podcast. Last month, Amanda Platell also slammed Meghan for her new podcast, she said. When was the last time you heard a man call a woman a slut? Generations ago, I'd suggest. Yet watch the trailer of the new Archul audio podcast of the Duchess of Sussex, sorry, Meghan, as she now calls herself, and you would think it happens every day. The one minute, seven second clip announcing her new series for Spotify, called Archetypes, has random voices hurling insults at women, she's a slut and skanky, as well as a claim that they are weaker, smaller and less intelligent than men. This is how we talk about women, wails Megan, the words that raise our girls and how the media reflects women back to us. She asks where these stereotypes, or archetypes, get it, come from and how do they keep showing up and defining our lives? Isn't it bewildering that one of the most privileged women in the world is digging so deep not only to provide a pity fest for women but to vilify men in the process? The fact is, women are simply not treated like that anymore. The world is full of entrepreneurial females, business and political leaders, FTSE 100 bosses, people without Meghan's good fortune who have earned their place in the world and the workforce. She is simply playing into that cult of female victimhood, the antithesis of feminism, which is as unappealing as it is outdated.